hey guys let's try some shit so today i really wanted to make a fake wooden rake and all of the stuff that i got here the rake top well the rake head the what is this called um handle the broom handle and the 3m like whatever that thing is <laughs> I got those all from the dollar store um so this was like a three dollar project not including the paint but um if we really want to include the paint because i got a whole case of well not case but a whole little pack of paint um the paints that i used at least they were 10 bucks i think 10 to 12 bucks so still it's an under 20 dollar project and i mean it's I could have bought a real wood thing, but it's so much more less like it's something tranquil to me about painting, but whatever. Um, I just sanded down very lightly the broom handle. These are the two colors that I'm using. Um, and like I said, I was trying to make a wooden broomstick. I know I can't, you can't, I'm not a pro, so let's say it like that. I can't really recreate wood like that but my thought process was i just want something to look similar because unless you get really up close to it i just wanted it to look like wood from afar no one's really coming up on my house and <laughs> like just checking out my freaking fall decor but um now i'm just painting the broom handle and like i said this was a buck so i mean if i have messed it up it's a dollar i spend more on i waste more let's be honest um but i saw that contact paper was about maybe 10 12 some sometimes it was up there in price and i was like you know what why even do that because sometimes the seams won't match up and when I could just paint this myself and try my best, you know, I don't freaking know. But <laughs> I really just wanted to paint and this was like a sorry ass excuse to do it. <laughs> to do it. So um like I said, I'm just painting it. I'm doing a base color and for the most part from wooden uh broom handles that I've seen before. They're more of a like a light beige and you know they have brown spots and they vary in different areas but i thought i really wanted that and that's what i wanted i thought it would look really nice with the rake handle or rake head excuse me um and i just i just thought it would be so cute and because um i was making a whole little fall um redoing my front my front door uh for fall decor <laughs> i really wanted a rake don't ask me don't don't ask me why girl don't ask me why <laughs> but i just wanted a rake so freaking bad like i just thought it would be so cute um to leave a rake there because you know fall the leaves fall so i just thought it would be really cute um to add this extra piece on the other side of my door um originally what you guys are going to see at the end i or you probably seen in the beginning um i wanted to do the door uh sign the door hanger whatever it is i wanted that to actually be mounted on this rake but my thought process was okay i need something to tie all of both sides of my door together so i might as well just hang this from the freaking door because if i don't like it's gonna look weird to me and my mind is just not gonna comprehend what the heck is going on here so um i wind up not doing that i scraped that idea and i think it really worked well um if you're looking at why didn't i paint the screw part 
and the handle part it's because really they're gonna be covered up it's really no big deal to me like I said I know that it's a fake I'm not really trying to make it a movie prop you know <laughs> really not uh, I just wanted you know I really wanted this look for the front of my house my husband really doesn't give a shit um, this is exactly his words please do not think that I am you know being a jerk about it he really doesn't give a shit um, he just tells me if you're gonna do it do it just don't expect me to help you <laughs> and I'm okay with that because you know honestly sometimes we as women we want things done a certain way and when someone really doesn't care about what you care about they're not gonna put as much effort and love and time and thought into it even though sometimes we don't really need that much thought but neither here nor there um but he was definitely willing to if i needed to go anywhere if i wanted to do it if it cost more than my budget initially intended he was definitely down for me doing anything that i wanted to do because this is my hobby this is my happy place and he just wanted me to be happy so yeah this is what i did <laughs> but um like I said, I didn't do the top of the broom and I did not do the bottom screw part because these parts are not going to be shown. I really didn't care. Um, I thought it would be a waste of paint, honestly. And really that hook um, that's on the bottom there that you can't see it now, but the little loop-de-loop, -loop, the, <laughs> the hook, I don't know what you call it, but the, the thing that holds the broom up on the wall maybe, I don't know. Um, the little black thing there that's twiddling around uh, that part I didn't want to take off because I didn't want bugs to get in the broom handle and like when it's time for me to put the fall decor away it'd be freaking spiders and everything else in my freaking garage or whatever um, so I only did like one thick ass coat on that thing <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you guys um, if you guys are interested in the background uh my little fall pumpkin bucket uh thingy please stay tuned because i have another video coming up on that and that was super easy to make and it was so cool i must say so myself um but here i am uh once again doing <laughs> doing some brown strokes with this paintbrush and like I said, I know that some woods vary, so that wasn't really my, you know, that wasn't my prerogative. My prerogative was I really wanted a fake wood <laughs> handle, and um, I just wanted it to look really cool, really cute, and I wanted to make it myself because sometimes I don't find the right things and it's not how I want it. Um, here I am. I'm using this one. I think I got this brush from the doll store as well. I can't really lie to you and tell you where I know where I got it from, but for sure they sell them at Walmart. Um, the last time I went, and that was eons ago. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm dipping it in the brown, but I'm not as harshly as I was with the other uh, brush because I'm just at this point trying to brush it out and fan it out and flick it so that way it looks like it was there all along I just kind of got this wood stick from somewhere I don't know but I let this dry and then I modged podged this pole pause but I did um I completely went over this once it dried and which was like it probably was less than you know the whole day but I did this is the end and thank you guys for watching